Robert the Bruce, also known as Robert I, was a major figure in Scottish history, particularly during the Wars of Scottish Independence against England. He lived a life marred by struggles, triumphs, and a relentless pursuit of Scottish sovereignty. Robert the Bruce was born on July 11, 1274, at Turnberry Castle in Ayrshire, Scotland, to Robert de Bruce, the sixth Lord of Annandale and Marjorie, Countess of Carrick. His family had extensive estates and noble lineage, with ties to Scotland as well as England. Robert was raised in a politically volatile time, with Scotland often at odds with the English crown over matters of sovereignty and succession. When Robert was born, Scotland was under a feud between King Edward I of England and the claimants of the Scottish throne. In 1296, Edward I chose to assert his will and appointed a leading Scottish nobleman, John Balloyle, as King of Scotland. Robert's father initially supported Balloyle, but soon rebelled against English rule. After William Wallace's execution in 1305, Robert the Bruce arose as the leader of the Scottish resistance against English rule. In 1306, Robert boldly decided to kill his rival John Comyn, a Scottish nobleman who had played an important part during the period of Scotland's Wars of Independence against England. Robert and Comyn met in Dumfries Church of the Friars Minor to settle their differences, but the encounter ended in violence leading to Comyn's death. Shortly afterwards, Robert the Bruce declared himself King of Scots and was crowned in Scone. But he faced a series of challenges, including resistance from Scottish barons loyal to the English and a lack of unity among Scottish leaders. Along with his brother Edward Bruce and a small army, Robert the Bruce was suddenly taken by surprise while camping near Methven. The vastly superior English forces, commanded by the Earl of Pembroke, launched a surprise attack on the Scots at dawn. The Scots were soundly defeated. It was a disaster for Robert the Bruce and his followers. Many men were killed or captured, and his family suffered significant losses. He escaped with difficulty himself, but was forced to flee to the mountains and live as an outlaw, while his army was dispersed. The Methven defeat was a grave setback for the cause of Scottish independence. Robert the Bruce was briefly stripped of his authority and forced to live as an outcast. But this defeat did not end his resolve to fight for Scotland's freedom. He spent the next few years on the run, sheltering in the Hebridean Islands and Ireland. During this time, he plotted his revenge on the English. The Battle of Bannockburn, fought on June 23rd and 24th, 1314, was a key clash during the Scottish Wars of Independence between the Scottish forces, led by King Robert the Bruce, and the English troops under King Edward II of England. Robert selected the field of Bannockburn, near Stirling, as a place to confront the English forces. He capitalized on the terrain's geographical features, including marshland and woodland, to provide a tactical edge for his army. The Scottish troops were thoroughly trained and motivated, whereas the English forces were plentiful but less cohesive. With about 8,000 men, the Scots pursued a defensive strategy, using compact formations of pikemen to repel the English onslaught. In the meantime, the Scottish cavalry, commanded by James Douglas and Thomas Randolph, stormed the English flanks, wreaking havoc and chaos. With approximately 20,000 to 25,000 soldiers, the English army underestimated the Scots. The English breakthrough was slow and haphazard, making them vulnerable to attack. Edward II's inept leadership aggravated the matter, resulting in delays and questionable tactical decisions. The Battle of Bannockburn resulted in a decisive Scottish victory. The English heavy cavalry was rendered ineffective in the rugged terrain, incurring heavy casualties. With their morale damaged and their leadership in shambles, the English army was forced to retreat, having left behind many dead and prisoners. The Battle of Bannockburn is one of the most important and iconic battles in Scottish history. It solidified Robert the Bruce's status as a skilled military leader and a national hero. Following the victory at Bannockburn, Robert the Bruce moved to solidify his reign and established Scotland as an independent nation. He passed reforms to entrench royal authority, including land grants and coalitions with key supporters. He also engaged in diplomatic efforts to obtain recognition from European powers, emphasizing Scotland's sovereignty and independence from English rule. Robert the Bruce ruled Scotland for almost two decades, supervising a period of relative stability and prosperity. His reign set the foundations for Scotland's emergence as a distinct nation-state, with its own institutions and traditions. Robert the Bruce died on June 7, 1329, aged 54. He was buried at Dunfermline Abbey in Fife, Scotland, 
Through the centuries, Robert's memory was honored through several monuments, memorials, and cultural representations, cementing his status as one of Scotland's most iconic figures.